All right. Welcome back. We are middle of our parts of the next campaign. We just finished book three last session. This session, we might be cracking into book four, uh, seeing how the crew does navigating space, I suppose. We have a couple of jumps we're going to start with this week, going from Drenax uh, to Tech World. Uh, they want to repair the antelope, the Harrier class uh, merchant. Is a merchant vessel, merchant ship, whatever the ship class is. Uh, well, it's, it's going to be a big tank by the time we're done with it. Yeah, but um, so looking at the antelope, and coming out of um, Drenax, is it a, I don't even, we haven't, this is going to be the first time it's coming out. I don't even know if it's jumped too. It's been so long since I read, we're just talking about it. It's been like eight or nine months since we started. So here's the, uh, here's the record, everybody, that I'm looking at. It is a J2. We're on a two minute commercial hold. Ah. It doesn't, uh, like it cuts us out. It doesn't like uh, spool up and set us back in where we left off. Yeah, I think it does. Uh, uh, but Josh's Skype is not working, so I got to try to fix that issue real quick. Because you're probably from a different call there, killer. Um, so J2, we didn't make the rolls. Uh, do you have that pin from last week, deck for the uh, the trade? Yep. Uh, where did I put it? And I had it somewhere. Got stealth jump. My win Windows 11 is just whipping my butt tonight. For those <laughs> who are thinking about it, <laughs> run fast. Damn. Probably stay out of Windows 10 until they tell me they're no longer supporting Windows 10. Well, my thought process was, hey, let's don't pay for it this time around. But now I'm thinking, pay for it. Just wait as long as you can. It's been a hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, maybe it was on the Discord. Did we pin it in there? Lots of chat in there. Hey, there's something pinned on the ninth. That's probably it. Yeah, that is it. Nice. Uh, look at that. We got lucky. Good note keeping, guys. I'm glad. Yeah. I knew it was somewhere because I looked at it. I looked at it yesterday and then promptly forgot to do anything about it. All right, let me get um. There we go. So that's the right monitor. Here we go. You're gonna get my monitor. Skype uh, on Skype, guys. Our stream viewers won't be able to see this, but. So, anyway, I need to take a look at it. The, there's no cargo on the antelope, so I think you were going to decide what to pick up under the available trade goods. Oh, is that what I was going to? Because we've got a lot of stuff on the Zephyr. Are we not going to? Yeah, and you would have had to offer Yeah, kind of. Okay. You don't have to. I mean, you guys could go on a convoy. That's that's your guys' decision. Were we going to wait to dump what we have until we got to Tech World? Yeah. But isn't that where we're getting ready to hit? Yeah. We, that's what I'm... I thought we were doing a quick stop in Drenax and then Bebop us straight to Tech World. Yeah, you got one. You got a J2, so you got to stop in Hilfer. 
So there's opportunity for trade there. That's what we were going to kind of knock out between sessions, and then we didn't. But that's that's good. I mean, because now we could practice doing it in Discord using the dice the dice spot. Just that way we get proficient at it together. And uh, right, yeah. So what do you think, crew? Should we have Zephyr run with us so we can unload? Because they had a lot of good. I got a lot of stuff. The cargo hold. Mm. Cause, all right, so that'd be second. three ships we'd be taking if we do that. Because do we want to leave the assault? The one that we got leased for a while still? Do we want to leave that and do that? Or do we want to take that? Well, we can, us? I mean, we can sell the stuff on the Zephyr later. There's no hurry. So we, we can just take the two. If, I forgot about that guy. That scout shit. I'm showing six, 60 tons of cargo right now. On the Zephyr, it's maxed out. Is that right? It is, it is maxed out. Yes. And then what is the cargo space of the antelope? Uh, actually, twenty-nine. The um, the machine parts that we had. So there's ten tons of that. Yeah. Um, that was actually going to be a donation to the king from the zoo. So while we're strapping your next, drop that off. Yep. So, uh, sure but we all... there's no profit there. That's just he he took it out of his personal cash and so we don't got to calculate it. That's not even wanted right now. Turnax right. doesn't even want desired goods machine parts. So, uh, but I'm sure the king will take it as part of the payment. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Okay, let me. Yeah, you got it. Okay. You're clearing it from your your sheet, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll clear it off the yeah, ship. Yeah, it won't let me do that ship thing. But that yeah, thing I got it. Yeah. Did have it there. We see anything we need to have that, that frees up. I put you guys at almost 40 tons of available space between the two ships. Let's do it. Let's fill up the other one and just unload everything in uh, Tech World. Hopefully, we get lucky. Or do well, we wanna? Do we want to? Um, there's no way to know what Helfer needs, right? It's just luck of the draw. Yeah, we don't know until you get there. Yeah. Are these available trade goods? What they have for sale and the mm -hmm. desire to be sell. Uh, yeah, so. But then if you go down, you can scroll down and get an idea of what Hill for, I think, wants based on destination. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't make the hyperlink big enough. No, we'll that's okay. I can, okay I can kind of look at some of the prices and know we should just try that. Anyway, like. Yeah, you go whatever's under 100%. I hope that you find somewhere where it's above 100%. That's pretty There's much the Like cybernetics, man, it's 50%. Surely we can dump those at Tech World. Maybe not. Illegal cybernetics. Illegal weapons. Uh, hold on. How far, <laughs> how far is Hilfer from uh, Plumbus or Plum? Whatever the fuck we directed that Aslan army towards. Oh, I forgot about that. Where did you guys send them to, like, Ergo I've, or I've something? Never right? No, 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 the, it, was, uh... it was Plum, I thought. P-U-L, U-U-L, Plum, or something like that. 
There's pal, P-A-A-L. That's it. That's it. We sent him to yeah. pal. Yeah. How far away is that from Hill Hillenfer or Hilfer? A single parsec away. Oh, dude, let's definitely let's stop at Hilfer and we'll try to unload those illegal guns because getting them into tech world might be a problem. Um, we definitely want to know if that. I don't think tech world will handle that. Handle that. But we can also try to sell them and be like, hey, look, man, we heard rumor and Aslan Army's coming down this way. You might want to be ready and prepared. You might be getting refugees showing up. Trying to take your jobs and sell them the weapons. So there's 29. Tons available on on that ship. Is that what it is? Or thirty? Why am I calculating? Right, you got ten tons available on the Zephyr, but there's twenty nine point seven free space on okay. Antelope. It's currently that's empty cargo. Well, I like high price cheap things. Um, unless anybody disagrees, illegal weapons, they have 16 tons. Uh, I, dude, it's on you, bro. Like, you sell the stuff, man. I just do things. I like it. I just talked to people on the comms, man. Cybernetics is questionable, though. Do you think? I think you it... might want to run that by the doctor first. I don't know if he bought those or wanted some of those. Ah. There's only a few. Yeah, it's not a lot of it. All right, well, I say if we can move them here, let's move them. I trust your judgment. Radioactives. Uh, oh, they've only got a ton of it there. Considering our whole landscape is <laughs> yeah. radioactive, uh, so, I mean. The med supplies look good, too. Let's do that. Those are nine They've got twenty four tons. I've got thirty that'll fill us up. So I'm good. I've got so I got thirteen I mean sixteen tons of illegal weapons, twenty four tons of medical supplies. Whew. Weird. It's it, I honestly feel like we are going to go to Hilfer and, you know, start up a militia. That doesn't seem like a really good um, couple of things to sell, right? Hey, we've got weapons and med supplies. Shoot them, patch them. What did I say? The, the four the beans, band-aids, and bullets? <laughs> yep. I decided I can't do that. So I think we're good, but are we gonna take uh are we gonna take the Zephyr too, or we decided we're gonna leave her here for now? Oh, um it's your that's your baby, man. You have definitely make that call on you on your own. I mean we could get the other crew to bring her, right? And even if we wanna send her back, we could send them back. But if we yeah. think we're gonna go do some things and we need a full team, we should probably leave the Zephyr, I think. That's really yeah. good. Yeah. What do you guys? Agree. I agree. What, why? Why are you guys going to tech world? You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's it's to go to get the antelope, the repa repairs done for what you guys were talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is we we take this bird to finally go get fixed, and we got to try to have a good payday when we get there because this bird's gonna take a lot of money. Correct. 
So maybe have the other, have your ship do like what we always talked about, get them to get goods from Tech World and Hilfer and run them back to Drenax. That's yeah. good. So, so then let me fill their cargo hole up while they're going with us. So we took 13 of the 24 tons of med supplies. So there should be 11 less. So I'll, I'll take 10 of the medical supplies for the Zephyr too. The Zephyr also. How's that? So she's full again, and we have spent a lot of money. Yep. <laughs> but other than that, I'm ready to roll. All right. Have Taking out the Harrier. So uh, the Commerce Raider Harrier class. Um, I do want to, it's got a few things on it, right? It's got the, um, it's got all kinds of goodies. The holographic, though, that's what I want to, want to get to. Um, how are you guys going to go in appearance? I look damn good. The antelope, how's the antelope going to look? Oh, it's going to be damn cleaned up. Yeah, we're not taking it out of the the hangar bay without it getting washed and waxed. And the holographic hole. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to artsy the fuck out of that. Ooh, and I can probably to... write a program for that remote ops to even use that. And with my art holography skills... The calendar Neat. is correct. Okay. So the Harrier the holographic call. I want to. I want to read the description of what it can do. Because can it change its entire appearance? You know what I mean. They are holographic projectors. So items, holographic projector. So they could change, they essentially change the appearance of the ship visually. So you don't have to be flying through space looking like a museum piece. And a museum piece isn't even the right word. Flying through space uh, in, in a ship that obviously outclasses everybody else. What's something at least our size that we could compare it to their deck that maybe make it look like that immersive trading boat Maybe an Imperial something, or... I definitely don't want it to... If it has those capabilities right now, I don't think we should pull out with the Harrier looking like the Harrier. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, since we're taking the Zephyr, it maybe if we can make it look like a far trader, we're, we're just looking like a trade convoy, right? Yeah, for tonnage, it's, it's similar to free and far traders, 200 tons. Jesus. What did I miss? In the chat. <laughs> um. <laughs> Me too, neither. <laughs> So yeah, I guess if we're uh, we're loaded up, do we? Is there any plot points that we need to be thrown down here at Drenax, there, Ref? No, nope, not right now. Okay, so yeah, in and out. Um, 
So yeah, have the the Harrier looking like a far trader, and then our three ship convoy sets route and starts making our way. You're you're bringing the Diamond Falcon with, so it's a three ship convoy. Yeah, unless yep. you guys object to me taking that, we just leave that here and turn in the lease. Crew, what are your uh, thoughts? Yeah, I like, I like it. You like taking it? Yeah, it makes sense too, right? We got we're doing a trade convoy. We got this. We got a scout with us. So he's got a little flotilla going. It sells yep. it sells the lie. Yep. So the diamond fucking is obviously the combat escort, and then you get the two far traders. Yep. So I'm gonna pull. Um, Let's see, I'll pilot that one, the attack ship, and I guess I could bring the drunk Kirsch along, because he's the best with guns, and I'll take one of the NPC uh, astrogators. Sure, let me let me just clear out the, the crews then. Yeah, because we're going to have to rearrange a bit here. Let me get all you guys out, and then we'll... That's a lot of clicking. I forgot how many little bodies we got lying around. Do we still? Yes. Yeah, so do we still? Let's start with the diamond ice? falcon. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No, everybody's off guys. Okay. And I got my notes of my. Here's our NPCs, guys. Mm -hmm. I'll just. Uh, I'll just. I'm gonna nuke everybody. If we're gonna take all three ships out. We'll crew them properly. Okay, I'm I am ready. Party and ship sheet is where I'm at. Tell me who's who's going the Diamond Falcon. I'm in the Diamond Falcon as the pilot. See when you go ahead and you'd update your position on your character sheet. Who is your astrogator and engineer? Those are the two other requirements. It's like I can hear the ship taking off. Mm -hmm. I'm out, right? That was perfect timing, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, who's, anybody want to be my astrogator? That has the skill. If not, then I think we have one NPC. Do 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 do. Whoops. Let me. Well, we got Mather as an astrogator. I have astrogation. And, and Wilma Turk. We have two astrogators. Yeah. I have astrogation. Would you like me to ride shoddy? It'll be quiet. That's weird. Yeah, let's try it. It's never been quiet before. And Jason, on your character sheet, I don't know if you've been in a session where we do the cruise thing now. So on your character sheet, the ship tab, you'll see your assigned to the Diamond Falcon as a passenger. She just hit the drop down on it. You'll be able to select your crew position. There you go. And your engineer. Oh, cool. You want a generic MPC engineer? I was thinking. What is it, Geezer Anderson? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take him. All right. Geezer, you are now a engineer. All right. All right. Um, and then I'm going to need somebody to man the guns. But we also have guns on the other two ships, right? You do. Okay. So we got one big gun on... The gazelle or well the harrier class ship did we ever yeah. get that working or is the i thought in the notes it wasn't working. so the um the marines all look like they got gunner zero fuck it let's take this the seasoned marine then a seasoned marine gunner yeah morgan now he gets a name 
Gunner. I <laughs> like him. His name is Grizzled now. Gunner's boring. Grizzled, Jeez. but we got, but we got Gunner. But we got what is Grizzled. he like? An old retired admiral's dog? <laughs> you're Grizzled. Well, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, you're, you're right. But we've also got, we've already got. Geezer. And then hand him a cigar. You also smoke cigars now, in case you didn't before. You do now. You do now. You, know, you smoke cigars now. But we've got Geezer and Grizzled. That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck that up all the time. Geezer, grizzled. I like it. I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds. Well, they automatically have to be drinking buddies now, and card sharks. Card sharks. See, I already more. I already want to be their friend more. This is gonna be interesting. All right, so we've Sorry. got. Go ahead. Sorry, I don't want to slow this down, but I do have a question. Yeah. So Zephyr was loaded from Katoria or whatever, right? Should we try to sell that, fill it back up, and then go to tech? Or are we just going to go to tech and try to sell it off? I say, if you got an opportunity to make money here, there's no reason that's good. Yeah. yeah so we might as well try. Yeah, go ahead. Don't unload I'm gonna, stuff. We can just, still, yeah, and we can still do the who's in what shit. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think for tonight too. It's not so like while you guys far. are doing that, yeah, I'll look through the desired goods, right? And just I'm yeah, selling it at that price. Yeah, yeah, based on okay. that normal. Yeah, exactly. I'll do that real quick. Okay. All right. So it's uh you guys got a crew of four on the Diamond Falcon. Let's go to the antelope. The antelope, who's gonna take command of the antelope? I am going to go ahead and go on a limb and say it's probably a Mizzoon. That's the big, big one, right? Yeah, that's the most, our most expensive. That's your guys' flagship, essentially. Yeah, so definitely. I'll set him up as the pilot. Oh, yeah. All right. The antelope has crew positions. I'll read you. It's got a captain, a pilot, an astrogator, an engineer. We need an astrogator and engineer at a minimum. But then it's got two gunners, a medic, and three marine positions. Let's give them, let's get a, an astrogator and an engineer over there. An astrogator. Carl will take medic. Yep. And then we'll matter, mather, astrogator. And then Kirsch can engineer, can he? I think he can. He had someone. He's kind of a jack of all trades. Yeah, he's got GA drive engineer. And then Mather, you say? Yeah, as the astrogator. Okay, so we set their positions. Engineer. Mather, astrogator. There we go. All right, so they got minimal requirements, and let's go. Let's set the Zephyr quick, and then we can we can fill in blanks for available. Okay. Zephyr, engineer. Well, here's an astrogator. Will be Wilma. I'll make her the astrogator. It's just kind it? of default. That's who's left. Yeah. Man Zing. Yeah. Pilot. No, you should put Man Zing as pilot on the big one and the captain in the captain slot on the big ship. Okay. Because that would make more sense because he's worked with that Man Zing. We've had him for a long time. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's OG. So I'll make Man Zing. I'll make uh, the I, I Zing the captain. Okay. Captain. Then Man Zing is our pilot and then deck is going to be our pilot on the zephyr go ahead and you set that now zephyr also needs an engineer geezer is taken right i can't the oh. other the seasoned marines i can't open them up and they may not have been shared yet they're all the same profile though here's what one looks like Oh, I can't share them. 
Do any of them have what skill? Does they have skill sets or just no? Yeah, they guess. I mean, um, it's all athletics, corrals, gun combat, gun combat slug, gunner, which that means they do turret, melee, recon, streetwise, survival, and mag suit. There's nothing. Nothing there. Just damn. Yeah, but they at least they do gunner positions. Yeah. Um. I what's Biz got? What is Shadow? Oh, and what about certain atoms? Certain atoms, do you have anything? Some there. engineer. Not the right kind of engineer, we just got engineers. Again, no. no, but you got gunner, so he can he can man one of the guns too, right? Yeah. You want to take the gun on the big ship? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, the pharmaceuticals were just for you, right, Doc? We just consumed those. I'm not selling them. Yeah, I think he stepped away, too, for a second. Okay. I'm just going to assume we just ate those. You can't sell those. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see, Shadow, Shadow I, has... Are we going to consume them, or do I need to still keep them in, in cargo for now? I, I can move some to my lab if it needs room it's emptied up. No, nah, I mean, it's just a ton. It's, I, don't, I don't care. I'll just keep it on, on the books. What's up, can I... What ranch file? Uh, Ranhild. And Hill is no engineer. May come down as Shadow and a Shadow using uh, Jack of all trades. For which one? The engineering the Zephyr. Or you or we get the software package. The expert software. Get the expert software package. Let's pay for it and get that done. The tech level is Trimex. Oh, 14. So you get a tech uh, level 13 expert package. Um, this package only entity to you base can be attempted if you have a skill the expert grants plus minus check. So, what is the Zephyr's bandwidth? All right, because you make the skill check as if they had the skill at the software's bandwidth. And this is bandwidth three. Uh, tech level 13. I just got to make sure that the computer could take it. Five, good. Uh, so, it'll be uh, Astrogator plus two, or uh, Engineering plus two. So I'm going to make an NPC and just call it the expert software. And this is a skill of uh, J-Drive skills. <laughs> and yeah, this is engineer J-Drive. And expert software is now getting installed on the Zephyr. Yet, engineer. Cool. Well, anything else that we miss? Nope. All three ships have engineers, astrogators, and pilots, right? Yeah. Uh, my ship's already got a gunner. Uh, Zephyr could use one. I could put some um, Marines in there. Well, well, oh, 
Chris is my engineer, that's right. Uh... Sergeant Adams is taking the gun on the big ship. So we just need one of the gunners for uh, one of the other Marines to be a gunner on uh, Dex ship. Yeah. Oh, he's just going to be a Marine. Yeah. And this one is going to be a gunner. There we go. So the only one we and, this, and this one will be a, a marine. Sorry. All right. Dak, do you want to have that other marine on your ship in the marine slot? Um, it doesn't matter. If, all right. If all right. You, if you not... want to load them all up on one. Well, no. I was going to say then out. take that other that other marine and put him on the. Um, the big ship and the marine slot because we got to use one marine for a gunner and then the other marine as a <clears throat> marine so take them off yeah well, so one will be on my ship one will be on deck ship one will be on Mazzini's ship right because it'll be a gunner on my ship Gunner yep. on deck ship and then a marine slot on the Zephyr. Yeah, the big ship. Because Sergeant Adams is the gunner on that one. Like so? Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, I put two on the big ship. We'll put him. There we go. There he is. I don't know if I do this right. One, two, there are four total. You already got grizzled. One, two, three. Yeah, I see three Marines, grizzled's on my ship, and then, yeah. I got two, I got two on um, the Zephyr, though. One's as a gunner, and one's a Marine. We can leave it like that, I guess. That's not going to hurt nothing. And there's, and there's a marine. There's already a marine on the antelope. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all of them. There's all the marines. And I think the only person we got left is the Ranhild. Ranhild? Yeah. The medic. You just can't be on the same ship as Dr. Carl. Dr. Carl, what ship are you hanging out on? The antelope. So you'll probably go to the Zephyr. Yeah, and they, he'll take the steward position on the Zephyr. I'm on the antelope, my bad. So you're on the big ship, right? That's the antelope? Yeah. Okay. So put, yeah, the medic on, on deck ship as a steward slot. Got it. And that's all our NPCs. All. Wow, we can... We can cruise three ships. <laughs> we uh, can't get stopped by any law enforcement agency. <laughs> At all. Not this trip. <laughs> <laughs> This is happening in the hallway around in, <laughs> in the, the city capital, right? Yeah, you guys are out in, in, uh, in space. Oh, the line space, yeah. <laughs> You're good. It would have been better if we were at Dradax in the middle of court. <laughs> right. Okay. What have I done here? 
Oh, we sold those. Okay. All right, so yeah, let's make our jumps. Uh, if you well, that's if you've done doing the deed. Yeah, I got so many rolls to make. Uh, one ship at a time. We we're, we're all gonna jump. Do a fleet jump. There's a rule for fleet jumping. If you guys are interested in just doing that. Yes, we are interested in streamlining the, the event. It's always uh, here's a new a rule that we haven't come across is fleet jumping. And we've been playing. Traveler for a couple of years now, haven't we? Between the two camps. Yeah, we've always only. Yeah, always just had the one ship though. Or we made it like four. Like, being the high shot. guard. <laughs> well, that's what we used to do. Right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fleet jump. Fleet maneuvers. Is that the? That's for combat. <laughs> hey, because I don't really like the king much, I think I always forget this. Are we supposed to pay him on our trading or just like, I can't remember the 10% thing we said we promised. Was that our trade good though? I don't think it was trade, right? It was. Yeah, that was, it was kind of ambiguous, right? Things uh, we Mizun, Mizun will say everything. Yeah. I, don't, um, I personally don't remember making this deal, so I don't remember the, the, all the decisions that were made during this deal it, process. In, in it, it, when he when he gave you guys uh, the mark letters of mark, right. everything you guys did under those letters of mark were supposed to be ten percent to him, which we've not done yet. Which you haven't done. You guys have literally conducted zero piracy. So that's where that's the big. But, but Mizun has been paying. So look, we're not I'm trying. I'm we're, we're, totally we're not... fucking trying. Like, <laughs> so this was just. To uh, me, this was straight trade then. Yeah, right. this is just us. Yeah. He can go fuck himself. Um, we, we, we diverted a war from his king. Correct. I mean, why do I got to show up and pay him? No. I'm good. We got paid for doing that, though, right? Maybe we should undivert it. That is a possibility. Divert it so you can get paid again. So many possibilities and probabilities. Yeah. I mean, Just watching I... ships like kind of like fly away from the dock. Like, I mean, what about that one? <laughs> what do you think they got? Ooh, yeah, who's just... that one? That one right there. I bet you they got stuff. I bet you they got a lot of stuff. What's Maybe the, the next place. Do you want me just to start hacking ships that have like the, like the manifests? And we'll just see. And we're just looking. That's not wrong, right? No, no, that's not wrong at all. I kind of like that idea. Makes it worth our while, sounds, anyway. Sounds right to me. Yeah. But you got. If you're good with that, then you can put like the security software on our ships, right? Because I don't want them doing that to us. Sure. We'll have to figure that out. I look at my laptop. I mean, like, my stuff's safe. But the ship that you're on's not safe. So if your ship gets fucked up, then you get fucked up by comparison. It's a symbiotic right, thing. You got a point. You got a point. Yeah, you got okay. a point. Okay. okay. Take a look. Next place we get to. I may give up on looking for this. I'm <laughs> certain I've read it somewhere. It but now that I ship has some security software. <laughs> oh, we got to take this ship out because it's got really good security software, and we got to steal that. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> I like right. that. Well, thing. What I meant. Let's go. Ahead. Let's start. Let's jump for hell for you guys. I want to hold you up. Okay, let's jump in. All right, I'm going to start with the, we'll just go down the list. Diamond Falcon, Jonathan, accept my astrogation. All right, uh, I don't. 
So I'm just part of the ship now. Do I do I have to roll it a special way or still just roll it? Just off, off your skill stab. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got an eleven. Plus an effective plus ten. I have plus two. And my engineer. We are good. Diamond Falcon safe to hill for Antelope, who is my astrogator. Mather. Mather will plot this at a Whew, on a five. That's fine. My J drive is a plus one. Who is my engineer? Krish. All right, Krish at a plus one. Engineer J. Not snake eyes. All right, success. And Zephyr, who is my astrogator? Wilma. Well, my astrogation one got a seven. I'm at a plus something. Who is my engineer? It's my software package. That software package, J drive, plus the 11. Okay, plus six effect. Everybody makes it to Hilfer. Woohoo! We're going to do an Hilfer. I'm already prepping. <laughs> All right, this is the Trojan Reach. Scan the closest ship. What they got? Oh yeah, I do need to do a yeah. Sorry, let me let me go on my uh, random. See what what is in system when you guys land. When we come in, yep. We might show up another asteroid ship. Might try to get some. Mm hmm. A police blockhead. I'm out, dude. Like, I got a whole nother jump worth of fuel. <laughs> Fucking. No. Does anybody have sensors? I have a few with sensors. Huh. You guys find an escape pod in this system when you get to the high guard. On sensors. Let's go check out that escape pod. See if it's somebody rich. All right. Um, with that, you two guys bring your ships in and around. I will uh, patrol the area outside the pod, look for wreckage. Um, if somebody threw it out, or if this is an ambush. Great ambush. Who wants to take their ship up to it and retrieve it? I think we should. Let's go check it out. All right. You okay. are grizzled. Well, we got the most firepower and the fastest maneuvering. It's not at it's at seventy thousand kilometers on sensors. That's what I mean. That's why we should do that. All that reasons. I knew that. So yeah, let's a logical move. choice. Yeah, let's move move towards it, but I'm not good with space combat that much. Radio over to Sergeant Adams or... Do we have, like, a camera or any kind of visual that gives us, like, a close-up view 